Kila Kila Kewa Kahui. We're in studio today with Kalani Pea Grammy O. Grammy nominated. Oh gosh, yes, <laughs> nominated, yes. Nominated artists um, in the world category. So them. in the best regional roots album category. So hopefully I get to see Beyonce, but I'll probably be on the black carpet instead of the red carpet. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, um, just leading up to this, you yeah. have already hit number one on the <sighs> iTunes charts, up there, number twelve on the world. Correct. Music. It's been such a blessing just to to create an album, an album that really defines and describes who I am as a Kanaka Hawaii, as a modern Hawaiian who speaks Hawaiian fluently. So I established this album, August 5th, that immediately hit number one on iTunes and 10 days later, number 12 on Billboard's music. So it's been a journey. So tell us a little bit about the album. I understand mm. that it's named after one of your family members. Yes, my eldest nephew is Kamali Ikani Kui Valeo Kalani Pea Whitney, and he thinks he's a celebrity today. <laughs> he's walking around, and goes, the album's all about me. <laughs> yes, it's about him. It's about my nieces, my nephews, and leaving a legacy. In Hawaiian, in Hawaiian we call it Ho Ilina or Ho Ilina, um, and that is part of the vision of our ancestors, leaving a legacy, leaving. Some something that that pertains to their gift or talent and for me I wanted to create an album that really describes who I am and talks about my journey in Hawaiian language perpetuating Hawaiian language and culture so Valea means to be exuberant to be elated to be happy on that note mm -hmm. um, there's other family members that are intertwined in this album I understand there's a song dedicated to your grandma it's titled Nani Amai Kai, There's Beauty All Around. The English version of that song says that somewhere over the, the valleys or the ocean, there is beauty. There's beauty somewhere, we just have to find it. But from a Hawaiian perspective, from a Kuana Ike Hawaii, which is a Hawaiian perspective or concept, there is beauty in everything. There's beauty in a, in a heated room. There's beauty um, in, the, in the, the way the coconut trees sway tempestuously in our makani, our wind here on Maui. There's beauty beyond Iao Stream. There's beauty with the flood that occurred. There is beauty all around through our challenges. So my grandmother has taught us to always be proactive, but that song talks about beauty everywhere. And it, it's a song that she required us to sing as a family with different harmonies. Alto, the altos had to sing their part, the tenors had to sing their part, the baritones had to sing their part, and she required us before we ate dinner. All of you need to sing. She's my late grandmother and I miss her tremendously. So I do honor Nani Amaikai and I honor her legacy. Talking about the songwriting process, I know that writing Hawaiian music is very different from writing mm -hmm. music in English. Tell us about that process and how difficult it is to just live up to the standards of Hawaiian music. I love, I have been writing music my entire life. One of my first songs I've composed were, uh, was 16 years ago in Papa Hakumele. I, were, I registered for a Hakumele, a music, Hawaiian music composition class with Nahoku Hanohana award-winning Hakumele composer, um, Uncle Larry Kimura, who was my komu. <laughs> but I've uh, been composing mele uh, about our lahui, mele that talks about our people, the way we thrive, how we live, how we breathe, our culture, the perpetuation of Hawaiian language and culture and education. So I have to be in a certain mood when it comes to music composition, Hawaiian music composition, sitting in a room, sitting on a lanai, sitting at the beach. When I feel the different elements around me, when I cry, when I smile, when I'm elated at Valea, exuberant and happy is when I start writing music starting out with poetry and poetry from poetry becomes music from music the lyrics is there and that's when I'm like ah oh, it's gonna be a melee okay so you're not originally from Maui you're oh, from well, Panaeva correct yes born and raised in Panaeva i nui kaua kani lehua kahi e no Hawaii ko uohana no ke okahao ke kahi no hilohana kahi so I am a proud Hilo native born and raised graduated from Kekulo Navihikulani Opu'u and Panaeva oh 
now the cookies have taken over. Oh, for real, yeah. <laughs> but they sound like a symphony at night, so I get to harmonize with them. So what brought you to Maui and what is it like living in a, on a different island? I moved here when I was in the Kaihana, so I moved here to uh, three years ago and transferred with Kamehameha Schools. Um, I am in community education and that entails creating Hawaiian language and cultural curriculum um, from grades 6 to 12. Also my other half, um, Alani, also moved here to open up the store. So we moved here to uh, broaden our horizon and, and our careers. I never thought I would create my album. To, I never thought that last year will be the, the, the start of my journey. And what a journey it's been. Oh. It's just been, you've taken off. I cry. I cry because I'm so overwhelmed with joy and happiness. So it's, it's, been, it's been a great start. Um, there's no end to this <laughs> because I'm on the go, Wendy, and it's been a good journey so far. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the inspirations that you've had in your life, your musical career. Who inspired you as an artist? Uh, many, many people inspired me as an artist. I. I really don't call myself an artist, I just call myself as Kalani Pea, a person that breathes every day and eat poi and fish every day like anyone else, and opihi because I'm from Hilo, <laughs> so people in Hilo love, oh, I'm a crab and opihi. But it was my mother, Puanani Leonard. My mother uh, knew, I, I never knew, who knows at four years old, that I would have a speech impediment. Uh, I stammered and stuttered so much as a child so that she she realized, okay, well, I need to put you in conventional speech ther therapy. The therapist didn't work. It didn't work for me. So she goes, well, your dad plays the j jazz, plays music. Your grandfather is an opera singer. I, I love to sing. I'm all into a vocal performance. How about I put you through music and vocal training and start off with singing A Whole New World from Aladdin? <laughs> I can show you the world. It inspired me from that moment at four. I sang my first song, I Feel My Savior's Love in Church. From that moment, when I saw people crying, I stopped in the middle of that song and said, why are you crying? My mom's whispering in the corner. She goes, continue to sing, just continue. I realized that I never knew how much my music will impact many, many people. So my mother inspired me, my father inspired me, and the love of my life today says we're going to invest in something and we're going, I believe in you, and I'll be your backbone and your best friend. So many, many people have encouraged me to create a Hawaiian contemporary soul album. Coming from Hilo mm -hmm. and Pana Eva, is there um, certain tracks on the album that kind of pay tribute to where you came from and yes the first track that uh, helped me get number one to iTunes it's it's um, my Mahalo Chicago magazine New York Times LA Times for the coverage but also highlighting my music first music video Hele Aloha no Hilo number one track that talks about where I'm from I wanted to hit off with the album with Hele Aloha no Hilo uh, giving my love uh, showing giving that lay of love for the place that I, uh, I come from, being a Kupa, being a Kupa Aina, being a, uh, a native of my Kulaivi, my, my, having a sense of place, knowing my roots, knowing my, my moku or ahupua'a, Pane of Hilo Hawaii, is definitely described in the first mele, Hele Aloha no Hilo, so I have that. Uh, mele that talks about my home, as well as number nine, uh, Oli, Oli Aloha, uh, a, a chant um, called Eo Lononuia Kea that talks about Lononuia Kea is the old name of Moku Keave, a big island. So I'm honoring the last place I lived, Kona, when I was a preschool teacher at Kamehameha School before I transferred here to Maui. Maui no eka oi! Um, and I um, am honoring uh, the beauty of Hualalai there, the Hualalai Mountain. I'm honoring the beauty of 
Kailua Kona, Kona Kai Opui Kalai. So I'm talking about Hilo and Kona and my love for those areas because I lived there. Coming up, what's What's ahead for you in the future? Could we see a Maui album? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm looking, I'm still writing music and um, I'm going to continue to write music, whether it's Christmas, but I want to do a second album and I'm thinking of themes. You may be in the music video, Wendy. <laughs> oh. So the, one of the final songs before Nani Amaikai um, is um, Oli Mahalo no Maui. I composed a song. Uh, talking about my love for Maui and being here, living here. I honor Pi'ilani, Chief Pi'ilani of Maui. I honor Navai Eha and how Navai Eha feeds our kalo and feeds our opai and o'opu. I created this beautiful oli that has four part harmonies. Um, being able to work with Dave Tutsuron, an award winning producer, I had a great time covering the oli with him. So I want to dedicate this last song. Um, Oli and Oli Aloha for Maui. Hele o, hele o, mahalo ho ie. Ika aina hiva hiva o pi ila nie. Hele o, hele o, mahalo ho ie. Ika aina luna lilo hale akalae. Hele o, hele o, mahalo ho ie. Ikai na kamaha o na vai e hae. Hele o a hele ho mahalo ho ihe. He aloha he aloha e na kupu na e. He aloha he aloha e na kupu na e. Mahalo. Mahalo. Good luck to you. Mahalo and the ocean. Alani pea. Mahalo aloha. He o mai poli ahu no honani mai. Poli ahu kamakua o kolani. Mauna kea kila kila.